mathematics class this class is for class 8 and today we are going to start new chapter that is factorization chapter number 14 in your books textbooks ml agarwal now that what is the meaning of factorization factorization means to find the factors of now what are factors suppose i write 6 6 can be written in the form of 2 and 3 So two is one factor of six, and three is one factor of six. Means any of these numbers, if they divide, if they divide the given number, the remainder is zero. Six divided by two is three, and remainder is zero. Six divided by three is two, and again remainder is zero. Means <coughs> product of such numbers, these two and three, which gives something, some integer. so the any of these numbers is known as factors factor means parts you can literally the meaning can be considered as <coughs> parts or small small parts or fractions or something like that now we will use this in algebra so uh, in this how are we going to use let's say that you have been given a number 5 x square plus 10x. You have to factorize this expression. So what you will do, you will find what are the factors of 5x square and what are the factors of 10x. 5 square can be written as 5 into x into x. Then plus 10 can be written as 2 into 5 is 10 and into x. Now you will find out the common in these. so numerical value common is 5 and 5 so 5 we have taken common then algebraical value is x and x so x we have taken common now what is left is written back uh, written down in the brackets so 5 has been taken x has been taken what is left x then comes plus sign what is left 2 and x so 2x and that is the answer for this means this expression has been factorized and this is the final value now this is known as working if you want you can show it if you don't want it is not required it is not required this is generally a rough work rough work or this is generally a mental calculation when you practice so many questions then you will be able to make out okay from this we can take 5 common from this we can take x common so x is left and 2x is left so that's the answer that way now we move on to the exercise first exercise is 14a and it has 21 questions so we will be solving in the multiples of 2 so i'm writing exercise 14a and we start with the second question second question is factorize 5x plus 10 you can see in this what is common only 5 is common 5 we have taken okay if you want i can write it this 5x can be written as 5 into x plus 10 can be written as 2 into 5 so what is common here 5 and 5 it means we will take 5 common and what is left that will be in the bracket x plus 2 and that is the final value now you move on to the fourth question <coughs> 5m plus 5n from this you can take 5 common i am doing it directly from this you can take 5 common what is left m plus n that is the answer question number 6 7x minus 14y 7x minus 14y now from this 7x and 14y what is common because 14 is 2 times 7 and 7 is here also it means only 7 is common we will take 7 common what is left in first term x then minus now 7 has already been taken out so 2 is left so 2y if you want to cross check you simply multiply uh, both these numbers you will get the value i am showing it how 7 into x will be 7x and 7 minus minus comes in 7 to the 14 so 14y you can see the question is same so that is why it means we are doing correct now question number 8 minus 7p 
माइनस फोर्टीन क्यू वॉट यू कैन सी कॉमन इन दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन सी बोथ दीज टर्म्स आर नेगेटिव सो वी कैन टेक माइनस कॉमन नौ सेवन एंड फोर्टीन इज टू टाइम सेवन सो सेवन कैन ऑल्सो बी टेक इन कॉमन वेन माइनस सेवन इज ऑलरेडी आउटसाइड सो इन साइड वॉट एवर इज लेफ्ट विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड वॉट इज लेफ्ट पी सो नो साइन इन फ्रंट ऑफ पी ओनली पॉजिटिव नो साइन मीन्स पॉजिटिव देन दिस वॉज ऑल्सो माइनस दिस विल चेंज टू प्लस बिकॉज माइनस सेवन फोर्टीन क्यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस फोर्टीन क्यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस टू into 7 into q so we have taken 7 and minus common so what is left 2 q is left and that two of positive so 2 q and that is the final answer now we move on to the 10th question 10th is 3 y square minus 7 y From this you can see only y is there which can be taken common because three and seven are prime numbers. So when you take y common, you are left with three is left and one y is left since it is y square. So y minus seven that is the final value. Now we move on to the twelfth question. Twelfth question is x square y plus x y square. X square y. Plus x y square. X square y means x into x into y, and x y square means x into y into y. So from this you can take one x as both of the terms have x, and one y as both of the terms have y. It means common will be x y. Now when x is gone and y is gone, what is left? At least one x is there. So x plus since plus sign, so put a plus. X y is common, so only y is left. So y that is the answer. Now question number fourteen. Fourteenth question is a x plus a y plus a z. A x plus a y plus a z. In all these three, you can make out a is common. So we will take a common, and what is left? X Plus y plus z. That is answer. Now we move on to question number sixteen. What is question number sixteen? X square y square. X square y square plus x square. From these two, we can see that x square is common. Now what is left in the first bracket? Y square plus X square has already been taken common. It means what is left here? Zero is not left because zero into something will give you zero. So what is left? One is left. How? If you expand this, you will get x into x into y into y plus x into x. When you take one x common, now again you take the another x common into x. We have taken common. What is left? Y into y plus these two are common, so one is left because this can be written as x into x into one. So one is left, so it means x square is common and y square plus one. So that is what we have done here. Now question number eighteen. This is only to make you understand. No need to write it. The uh, uh, it will be written in this manner only. Question number eighteen is seven y cube. Seven y cube minus five y square. Now from these two, seven and y are prime numbers. Nothing is common. Y square can be taken common. So what is left? Seven. Since y square, two y's have gone. So one y is left. Y minus five. That is the final value. Now question number twenty. That is two ab square. 2ab square minus 6bc plus 8 times abc. This is the question. Now you have to find common. So 2 can divide first, second term, third, all the three terms. So 2 can be taken common. A is here also. A is not here also, but A is here. So we will not take A because A is not present in all the three terms. 
Now let's see B. There are two Bs, one B and one B. So at least one B we can take common. So what is left? A is left in the first term as well as one B is left. Then there is a minus sign, so minus. Now two divide six, that is three, or you can say two we have already taken. So three is left. B is also gone outside. So C and plus for eight from eight two has been taken. So four is left because four twos are eight. B has been taken common, so A is left and C is left. That is the final value. Now this finishes your first exercise 14A. We move on to the second exercise 14B. Now this is exercise 14B. What is explained in this? When the common factor is a polynomial, means suppose I say x times a plus b. Plus y times a plus b. Now you can see. Suppose you have to factorize this. It means you can see that this is a polynomial and this is common in both. So what we will do now? We will take this polynomial outside the bracket. A plus b completely has been taken out. Now what is left? This is this was taken out. So only x is left and plus sign comes. So plus and only y is left. So now. In this exercise, we will be dealing when the polynomials given are common. In the previous exercise, there were only one terms or maybe two terms. You know, one numerical term or uh, and uh, one algebraic term uh, will is was common. But now here we will be considering the we will be taking the polynomials uh, common. Now there are twelve questions. I am starting from question number two. Let's see what is question number two. It is. A plus one times x plus a plus one times y. Now, what is common? You can see a plus one is present in the first term as well as a plus one is present in the second term also. If we take this total as common, means a plus one has been taken common. This has been removed and this has been removed. Then what is left here? Only x. Then we move ahead plus. Then again, we move ahead. This has been taken out, so only y is left. So that is the final value. If you solve it again, if you solve it again, it means a will be multiplied to the whole bracket x plus y, and then next plus one will be multiplied to x plus y. So when you solve it out, this you will get as a x. Plus a y plus x plus y. So what you can do from this, we will rearrange a x plus x plus a y plus y. From first pair, we can take x common. What is left? A plus one. From second pair, we can take y common. What is left? A plus one. Now from these two, we can take a plus one common. And x plus y common. You can see that this value and this value and this value all are same. Now we move on to the fourth question. This is not no need to write. This is only to make you understand. There is no point in writing all this. Now question number four. Four is two times of x minus a whole square plus. Four times of m into x minus a. You have to factorize. Now x minus a whole square means x minus a into x minus a into x minus a. So from two x minus a into x minus a plus four m into x minus a, we can take. First we will check with the numerical coefficient. So what is common in them? Two. So we have written two. Now these are two x minus a's, and here is only one x minus a. So we will take x minus a one only common. Now what is left? Two is already out. X minus a one is already out. So what is left? X minus a is left, and plus here what is left? Two is out. So two times of and m is left, and that is the final value. This is the final answer. Means. We have taken two common and x minus a, x minus a common. So one x minus a left here that is written over here, and two m is left that is over here, and this was two times of x minus a has been taken common from both b's. Now we move on to 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वॉट इट इज पी प्लस क्यू होल स्क्वेयर पी प्लस क्यू होल स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ पी प्लस क्यू नाउ बाई नाउ आई होप यू वुड हैव बीन क्लियर नाउ विच पॉलिनोम कॉमन पी प्लस क्यू पी प्लस क्यू होल स्क्वेयर मीन्स टू टाइम्स ऑफ पी प्लस क्यू सो वन पी प्लस क्यू वी विल टेक कॉमन एंड वॉट इज लेफ्ट इन द अदर वन पी प्लस क्यू इज लेफ्ट प्लस फ्रॉम हेयर पी प्लस क्यू इज गॉन ओनली थ्री इज लेफ्ट प्लस थ्री सो दैट इज द फाइनल आंसर नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज ट्वेंटी वन टाइम्स फोर पी माइनस फाइव क्यू होल क्यू प्लस फोर्टीन टाइम्स फोर पी माइनस फाइव क्यू होल स्क्वेर नाउ हेयर देर आर फोर पी माइनस थ्री क्यू हाउ मेनी थ्री हेयर फोर पी माइनस थ्री क्यू आर टू हेयर दिस ट्वेंटी वन एंड फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड फोर्टीन इज डिवेल बाय सेवन सो एट लीस्ट वी कैन टेक सेवन कॉमन फ्रॉम द न्यूमेरिकल कोफिशियंट एंड हेयर देर आर थ्री फोर पी माइनस फाइव क्यूज एंड हेयर देर आर टू सो वी कैन टेक एट लीस्ट टू ऑफ दम कॉमन सो फोर पी माइनस फाइव क्यू स्क्वेर हैज बीन टेकन कॉमन नाउ वॉट इज लेफ्ट सेवन थ्री जार ट्वेंटी वन और वेन सेवन इज टेकन आउट वॉट इज लेफ्ट थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ सिंस टू ऑफ दम हैव बीन टेकन कॉमन सो वन इज लेफ्ट सो फोर पी माइनस फाइव क्यू देन कम्स प्लस साइन सो प्लस सेवन टेकन कॉमन सेवन टू ओनली लेफ्ट सेवन टू दोर्टीन दिस हैज ऑलरेडी बीन टेकन कॉमन नथिंग इज लेफ्ट सो दैट इज द फाइनल वैल्यू नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सो इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वॉट इट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन एक्स टाइम्स सॉरी ए टाइम्स एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड प्लस बी टाइम्स x plus y plus z plus c times x plus y plus z. You have to factorize this. Now you can see in all the three terms, polynomial x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z is common. So we will take x plus y plus z common and put a bracket. Then what is left? A, then plus, then b. then plus then c that is a final value now we move on to the 12th question 12th is a times a minus 2c plus b times a minus 2c plus 2c minus a 2c minus a. Now what you can see, this polynomial I can see common. This polynomial also common. But here it is 2c minus a. If it would have been a minus 2c, here also I would have got common. So to make this as a minus 2c, we will take minus common. Means this can be again written as a minus 2c plus b times A minus two c, and from this total expression, I am taking minus common. When minus is common, then sign inside will change. So two c will become negative, and minus a will become positive. Means it will become now a minus two c. If you solve this, you will you can write it as two a minus c. If you open this with minus sign, this will minus a plus two c. And minus a plus two c or two a minus c, both of them are same. It means if I take minus common from this, these signs will change, and after changing these signs, I will be getting the same polynomial that was required for common. Now a minus two c, a minus two c, a minus two c. From everywhere you can take a minus two c common. So I've taken a minus two c common. Now what is left? A plus b. 
and minus what is left when this is common so what is left now 1 because this can be written as a minus 2c into 1 so a minus 2c is common so what is left minus 1 is left that is the final value now uh, this two exercises and uh, I hope you can practice them uh, in your time whenever you have got because this is not in their unit test so this can even be left for uh, future but I want you all to practice and uh, keep uh, on doing regular studies. Uh, stay blessed. Thank you.